Jason Simon are about to tackle their first challenge on their trip across the Cape, the Frenchman's Track. Along for the ride is BCF's own JB. So we've got to cross a few rivers, mate. We've got to cross the Wentlock. We've got to cross the That's Pasco. Good. Yeah, and Simon, apparently, you did it on your dirt bikes. I've done it many times on a dirt bike, mate. We used to carry our dirt bikes across the Pasco. <laughs> <laughs> a lot younger and tougher back then. Do we have to carry the no, 79? No, we're, we're not carrying the 79. Perfect. <laughs> so, JB, haven't you done it? I have, mate, back in 2012. Oh, he, yeah, he can nice. lead the way, mate. Nice. <laughs> I'll drive that. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Navigator. All right, so let's get this show on the road. We're going to head down the Frenchman's track, and that'll start this journey to head from the east side to the west side. Beautiful looking fish. You there, mate? Yeah, good, yeah. Well, you probably know the track better than me, mate, because uh, you've been down it. I actually haven't. Remember the last time we attacked this track? Yes, we came in from the top and uh, the floods got us at the, the Wenlock. Yeah, so we. Uh... Well, this will be your first time for me. So, uh, you reckon there's that... lots of deep handlebar high uh, water? Yeah, the few times I came through the Pasco there was really flowing and deep. Obviously, you know, we're a lot later in the, the dry season now, so we should be good. But yeah, it's a pretty tight track. Fair few tourists use this track, so I reckon it's going to be pretty easy myself. <laughs> Famous last words, of course. Do I think we were going to tackle the Frenchmen's or were they joking with me? When we got to the start of it, I, I didn't really think that we were going to make it all the way through. I don't know about you, mate, but... Corrugation's behind. You'd be rattling your false teeth out, wouldn't it? <laughs> well and truly, mate. Well and truly. And have a go at it, mate. What a specky bit of countryside. It's pretty cool. At open sand country, mate. Yeah, I love this sort of country. That's going to change just up here in a little bit. It's going to get all nasty. Yep. Yeah. A little bit articulated up here, mate. What's it going on? Yes, I'm just trying to work out what line I should take. I'm going to go straight through, I think, because it's a far better line for me. There you go. Down into that hole. Here we go. There she goes. And she's going to go down. Here we go. You'd be surprised the trailer. Actually, hold you in, yeah, in, yeah. Hold, the trailer can hold you in position yeah. a lot. Yeah, I found that before. Oh, I'm pretty much guarantee that you're a couple of the biggest trailers that have been down this track for a while. <laughs> I can pretty much guarantee they are the biggest trailers that have been down this track. We do like to punish ourselves. Looks well, pretty washed out down there, is it? Yeah, she is a little bit washed out, mate. Back there, mate, in the D Max of Dreams. Loving it, mate, loving it. You go, might straddle. Ooh. Maybe I might straddle it. <laughs> Give it a whirl. Sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. 79 would be eating this for breakfast, wouldn't it? Pretty much. I was saying, the D Max does well. It goes everywhere that the 79 goes without a problem. That is true. We're pretty much towing identical trailers. Oh, this trailer is a bit heavier. I think he's talking it up himself. I reckon they're probably about the same. He's justifying that big jacked up 7. I think it's probably 700, 800 kilos is different. <laughs> I think he's dreaming. Yeah, hey, uh, we can't be far off the first uh, major creek crossing, eh? Well, I wouldn't have thought so. Drop up over this hill here, and I've 
down the other side, and I think we're pretty much at the Pasco. Hey, that mate, it's a Grand Canyon. Hell yeah, it is. Oh my god. Give you some sort of idea what the wet season does, huh? It's like we're driving up a bridge. Yeah. Here on that little bridge, let's go. That'll be the end of that track. Once we got to the Pasco, just the entrance down to the creek was scary enough. There she is, mate. That's the crossing. <laughs> We've got to get to the crossing first. Oh, at least we're not coming up this. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, this is nasty. This trailer's going to push me down this hill. I might dole the brakes up a bit. Maybe a bit of... See that trailer this side? Yeah, trailer's a wheel just follow behind. How much you can do about it. Yeah. Watch this log in. Coming off the corner. See that? Yeah, I can see it. If you just check that other side, I'm going to like that log stick in there. See yeah, around oh, here? Have, you have a look? Yep. It's cool. Cool. With the, the bank. I'll get past it with the canopy. What's in front of me there? Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Think of what you're holding at that. I'm going to go back. Is that all you got to get a change? Ah, too late. <laughs> yeah, don't no worry, you're all good. <laughs> uh, nice work. Yeah, don't no worry, mate. You're fine. Just, oh. just keep it on the trailer, because I can't see it real well. Yeah, you're all good. Oh, there we are. Sweet. You're going to have a look at the creek, eh? Oh, I'll have a bit of a look at it. Looks pretty deep. I thought we'd look at it and maybe decide, well, we, we might have to turn around. The only problem was we couldn't turn those trailers around. We were not going back. We had to go forward. Woo. Jace, Simon and JB yeah, brave the cold water to gauge the oh, river's yeah. depth rock there. Yeah, and to locate oh, rocks and boulders rock. hidden beneath the water's surface. <laughs> What's the depth like there? So this is your deepest yeah. point right here. I'm yeah. going for it. Yeah, you go. I'll go over here and get ready with your yeah. wing. What are you going to do, mate? Are you going to stand in the river? Um, I might uh, stand <laughs> on this side, mate. <laughs> All right, I'm going for it. All right, I'm going full diff locks. There we go. Geez, that water was deep. I mean, it come up over the bonnet. Nice and steady. You're good. Charlie's getting a good wash. I think your trailer will pop up over those rocks, all right. Yeah, they don't look as bad on this side. Here we go. To be honest, I actually thought he was going to probably go most of the way up the hill. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast. So much power. The problem was that the sand was quite soft, so the power didn't go anywhere except spinning in the wheels. So really, it was basically just out of the water. Nah, I lost momentum there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Winch out. <laughs> Try and get that as low as possible, eh? Let's watch that strap for a minute. It's on. And I guess once we started winching, I thought, is the winch gonna, is it gonna, gonna pull the truck up? Is the tree gonna fall down? Like it was just all happening. Come on. I'll reposition you over on this tree over here, see how it goes. Yeah, copy that. Oh, yeah. That's better. Come on, baby, come on. 
Come on. He's taking it up. Come on. Up you go. There we go. We're going now. Up she comes. I've got to be careful I don't burn the clutch out because it starts to bog down. Can't be riding that clutch. So I've just got to keep the wheels spinning to give me momentum, keep the wheels moving. The clutch isn't burning. The tires will do a bit of rubbing, but that's all right. So we're coming up. Soon I'll get a bit of traction. Any minute now, should get some traction. Come baby, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Should I gotta get up there yet? Give me, more, nice. Give me that little bit of traction. He should get some traction soon. Come baby. Now yeah, we're good. Go, 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 go. Quick, 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 quick. You good thing. <laughs> Once Jace pulled himself up to the top with a winch, it was like, okay, we can do this. You know, th this track's going to be fine. I was a little bit concerned that the winch wasn't going to cut it, but once he was up the top, I knew we'd be okay. Nice work, mate. Nice oh, work. Oh, that was nasty, that wasn't was it? That was an epic winch up, wasn't it? I tell you what. Epic. Oh, you need some power in the winch, otherwise there's a lot of weight there. You could feel it. I didn't want to burn the clutch out. I'm a bit worried what you've done to the track for me now. <laughs> so I'm there spinning. You're just going to have to spin. I can plant some potatoes where you've been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. All right, I'll get this thing out of the way. Let's get you up. See if I can uh, get myself through this little treacherous crossing. We get down into it first. It's gnarly. It's proper gnarly. <laughs> Lucky we got bash plates underneath. There's the bash plate. Oh, hang in there, baby. Hang in there. Try not get oh, hung up on that tree like Jace did. Around the corner, it's a start. All good, John. We're good to go, mate. There you are. All right, coming in. All righty. Go ahead and ready or not. Submarine, that thing. Yeah, good line, good line. As far as we're going, <laughs> bit further than I thought. I didn't think the D-Max would actually make it through that. I, I thought we were gonna, gonna have to start dragging it out, but really surprised it came out the other side. How much more rope we got? Probably about it. Yeah, I'll need extension. So we'll just double this up. So double him. All Three. Right. I'll chuck him through this. Yep. Simon's winch doesn't quite make it. Winch extension strap, just double him up. Uh, this one's actually, it's not actually a strap, it's actually a winch extension rope. Far better than a strap, doesn't stretch. So that should do the trick. We want the least amount of stretch as possible. Where's my radio? All right, mate, take up all the slack. Come on, Maxie! So far, so good, mate. You're looking good. Yeah, the D-Max came up the hill a little bit easier, just creeping forward with the wheels. The 79 was digging big holes, obviously, being a manual. Looks good. Coming up. Get ready to grab that winch rope. Come on, baby! Quick, quick, quick. 
No damage, no carnage. No carnage, no damage. Well done. Yeah. Good old D Max, mate. Love it. Did well, well right. mate. How good was that? Nice we're through. Right. Yeah, we're up. Good job, mate. Well done. <laughs> nice one. Nice work, mate. <laughs> I was quite surprised how, how easy the D Max come up. All right, let's put the gear away. The rest of it's easy up the top of that ridge line. The technical thing here, I've got to get the trailer past this bloody rock. Man. I can't see it and I don't want to hop out of the car because I'm going to hold my foot on the brake. It can't be good. Can you see yeah, it there, JB? Yeah, you're hooked on it. I'm hooked on it. Yeah, it's on the guard. Ah! Yeah, I'm hooked on the rock, mate. And hey, come back as you are. You want to hurry up? You've got this tire all creased up here. Hold it there, Jase. Hold it there. I'll see what you're up, what you're going up. Yeah, so you got a you got a big rock just here. Once you're over it, you're good. Alright. Can we get some weight on that other side? Just feels real tippy here. Simon and I have jumped on the side because we were, we were pulling some serious angles to try and get oh, around, this, around this rock with the trailer. Yeah, you're off now. How's that trailer? I think it might clear it. Yeah, pass it now. Right, you're about to go up, Jase, on your left wheel. You're good. Yep. Jesus! Yeah, you're good. All good. How's my balance point? Yeah, yep. you're good. That's there it. There you go. <laughs> you're good. Yeah, he Jesus! Worried. He's worried, dude. Oh, we're good now. This is not too bad. Nice work. I can't see my trailer. That's it. Yeah, no, you're can. good. You're good. Keep it going, keep it nice fluid, mate, and you're good. We're going up. Keep it going, keep it going, you'll see your momentum up there. Sheep, look at that. Okay, see if we can squeeze up through that little hole. Simon didn't bother getting anyone on the sideboards because I don't think there was a chance anyone could get near the truck. He was through like that. <laughs> How much fun is this? So much fun, I can't tell you. Full drive, heaven. <laughs> Absolute heaven. After the epic river crossing, the Frenchman track is now giving the boys some much needed relaxation. The track is pretty rutted and it is how I remember it, but we seem to be getting through it really easily. A bit of water up here, Si. Bit of a creek crossing. Yeah, it looks very picturesque. Oh, the old picturesque creek crossing. Thank you guys staring it up. Jace goes through it next minute, bog to the eyeballs. Stuck. What are you doing?
Nah, that stuff is, it's like soft as, I'm bellied out. Seriously. <laughs> Bellied out, mate. I'm going to need to winch out. You have to get your offsider up there on the job. All right, JB, you're <laughs> in. You're in. <laughs> JB, the winch pull. I'm not opening this door because the water's right there. Is it? Yep. It's not coming in, is it? Hold on. Yeah. Grab that bit. Young and agile, look at him just pop out the window there. <laughs> there we go. Go on, baby. It's like this soft sand. It's like, it's, it's like this really rutted and it's just filled up with this soft sand that just spins out. I'm dragging my belly. That's it. Yeah, mate, all good? Looks like you're out. Mate, that's a trap in there. You're gonna drag your belly instantly. I reckon we do a bit of a drag, mate. You hook your winch to the back of my truck, I'll reverse back into the water a bit and then just pull you through. Whatever you reckon, bud. I reckon you're gonna get water inside the car if you get stuck there, eh? So we realised that it was a little bit deeper than we thought, so once Simon rocked up, we attached the winch rope and basically the 79 just dragged him through. Well, you go. I'm out. Nice work. Just looking at my map there, mate. I think we're about halfway. Yeah, I think uh, there's probably another creek crossing coming up, and then and then the next one is the uh, the Wenlock. But don't get ahead of yourselves. One river crossing at a time. Backwards? Well, what's what's it look like? Well, you didn't even get into it, so I don't know. Yeah, well, the, the width is fine. I think we got a winch through. I'm going to get a winch out, mate. You have to get out the window. You can't winch it. You're going to get out. I had to jump out the window, climb up onto the bank, run around the front, jump out and pull the winch rope out. Now the only problem was having a tree strong enough to pull us through. Looks bad for me. Yeah, it doesn't look the best, does it? Just the trailer wedged up, that's all. It's bad? Nah, just the side of the trailer. You gotta give me a better winch point, mate. Yep. We're so narrow. I mean, the trailers are wider than the vehicle and the vehicle only just fit through. So the trailer was carving the bank out while the winch was working. I mean, that winch was really straining, so there was a touch of doubt that either the winch would pack it in or that'd be it, we'd be stuck there. Oh, 
have done a tyre. He has, Steve. You're not going to be happy about that. You want the bad news or the really bad news? What do you mean? Well, I guess you made it. There's a bit of good news. What? What? Uh... There's the bad news. And it's full of water? Of course it's full of water. Oh, that's painful. A little bit. Oh, well, it's something we got to fix. <laughs> you pull up um, over there somewhere other way. And you'll come through? I'll come through. I might try going down the bank. What do you think? <laughs> Did I think Simon would go through the same track? No, I didn't think he would. He, he tends to be that sort of a bloke that just does his own thing. And sure enough, he did. Okay, so here we go. Yeah! Might have to just winch from there. <laughs> it, was, it was a nice sharp drop off where the nose dug straight in. So the, the back of the car was high and the trailer was sitting flat. So a bit of a quick winch, got him out and he come flying out. Took out the bank on the other side and up and bounced and, out he, and he was out. Nice work, mate. <laughs> Seemed to be a lot easier than my way. It still wasn't pretty. No, not pretty, mate. All my tyres are still on the rims? Yeah, How you're fine. That? <laughs> Talking of tyres, next time the boys have to fix Jace's mishap before they can continue along the Frenchman's track. <laughs>